guys, welcome back, it's Sarah. It's been so long since I've done a YouTube video, I don't even remember how to do this anymore. I hope you guys are having a fantastic new year, I am. I just wanted to do like an old YouTube style, like a chit chat get ready with me because I haven't been on here for so long. I'm currently in Hong Kong and this is all the makeup I packed with me. It's very messy, but I did not have a lot of luggage space, so y'all know this is the best of the best. I'll get to that in a bit, but I'm just gonna jump right in. Milani, SPF, BFF. Like I said, I'm in Asia right now, so I've been traveling, I've been under the sun. This, if you guys watched me for a long time, y'all know that I used to be obsessed with the Milani Primer Protect. It's SPF 30, it's fragrance free, and it's just the best primer, like it's a broad spectrum sunscreen. This is exactly the same product, they just repackaged it. But it's an SPF 30 primer, and on days when I'm not wearing makeup, I like to just throw this on because it just kind of blurs your skin, but it's still really glowy, like you just look healthier, so I've been wearing this a lot. I'm layering that with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Nude Glow. Literally my favorite SPF foundation. I'm almost done with it and I haven't been using it for that long. So while I blend this, I'm just gonna give you guys a bit of a life update. I'm currently on vacation in Hong Kong, staying in my mom's village, which is why you might hear things outside and it's actually part of the biggest trip I've ever done. We're visiting four, I think now five countries. So the first stop was the Philippines. I absolutely had a blast in the Philippines. I went to Manila, Boracay, and Palawan. And the reason why this entire Asia tour even started is because my manager, Lori, was getting married. Now I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is one of my favorite concealers, a little less coverage than Tarte Shape Tape, but a little creamier. And I like to apply it just like that. I don't think I've ever seen anyone apply concealer like this, but it makes the most sense to me because it snatches the nose on the first try. And I also don't love a lot of light concealer right under the eye. Like it makes my eyes look dead. So this is the way I like to do it now. <laughs> anyway, I was in Baraka for her wedding. I've actually known her for five years now, which is crazy. I've never worked with anyone as long as I've worked with her. And I've actually known her for longer than she's known her fiance now husband. So you know, I had to be there. She's been with me through thick and thin. And then I start seeing this boy. <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit about that later, but next I'm gonna apply a little bit of contour. I was using the same exact matchsticks three years ago. I feel like I'm really getting old because once I like a makeup product, I just stick to it. And I used to be so much more adventurous and now I'm like, I've tried what I needed to try. It's very hard to convince me to try something new because if I know it works, I know it works. And this is the creamiest stick contour I've ever tried. It's just phenomenal. And the shade is exactly the right shade. Like even when it's not completely blended, it looks like a realistic shadow. This is also the only contour product I brought with me. I tried to bring one of each category. So I tried to bring just one foundation and one contour, one blush, which was a huge challenge for me because when I usually do my makeup back home, I would layer like three blushes in one basic ass everyday look. It's so unhinged, I hoard so much makeup. When I'm traveling, I'm forced to break that habit. So I have to pick the best. And I really hope you guys trust what I'm recommending because this is truly the best out of the best. I went through my huge makeup drawer of all of my products. Like I went through pounds of makeup to find the best. And I've been loving the products I brought so far. I think I did a great job packing this time. Next, I have to talk about this blush. This blush is part of the reason why I wanted to start making YouTube videos again, because I talked about this on TikTok, but y'all don't know how much I love this blush. And this is the Euphoria Color Changing Blush. I think there's only one shade and I've used color changing blushes before, but they're always in like solid form. But this one, it's in this green tube. And this has been the only blush I've been using because it adjusts to your actual skin tone. I just apply one, literally like one little swipe, and then I use a stippling brush. Same thing on this side. Now look at this, isn't it so pretty? It's like the glowing from within blush look that I was looking for because it's color changing, it kind of melts into the foundation. Like it looks like it's melted with the foundation. Like when you apply Rare Beauty blush, it, it kind of sits on top. It's still beautiful, but it's like a pigment on top. Whereas this one feels like it's like mixed with the foundation, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm gonna powder with my favorite powder, the one size powder, which I'm almost 
Damn, I'm almost out. I really hope they sell it at Hong Kong Sephora. But this powder has single-handedly dethroned the RCM May No Color Powder and I have absolutely no affiliation with one size except they commented on one of my TikToks a while ago. But never worked with them. Don't know anybody who works at one size. But this powder formula is insane. It blurs texture so quickly. Like, I don't know if you can tell, like, this looks fake. I know a lot of powders can kind of do that, but this powder does it the best. I think this powder is what the Glossier Wilder was trying to be. And I'll just selectively powder. I like to just powder on the sides of the nose. And one thing that changed about my beauty routine is I powder quite heavily on the brows now. My, I lasered off my microblading, as you can see. And when I do my eyebrows, I want them to stay all day. And the best way to do that is to make sure your brows are very powdered. So if your brows get oily, the pigment doesn't come off. So anyway, I was saying, I was seeing this boy. This is how long I've been gone from YouTube for. I ended and started a relationship and y'all didn't even know. I started seeing this guy, his name is Carlo. I'm about to do my brows with the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP. So I had the Barakai wedding trip planned years ago, like year and a half ago. Very soon after, I started seeing Carlo, and he is Filipino, and he has family in the Philippines. So I was like, hey, wanna be my plus one? And then, and then it became like, oh, maybe I should show you Manila and Palawan. He's also an Aquarius, so his birthday is in January. And we thought, hey, since we're gonna be there in Asia anyway, why don't I show you my hometown? Why don't I show you around Hong Kong? Which is how I ended up here again. And then we were like, hey, since we're already gonna be there, we have friends in Korea. Should we go to Korea and visit our friends? You know what, tickets aren't that expensive. It's within Asia, let's do it. And then, some context. One of my many love languages is gift giving and I really wanted to surprise him. He's never been to Tokyo and I've been to Tokyo a bunch growing up because I grew up in Hong Kong. Tokyo is super close. So I wanted to show him around Tokyo as well and he's always wanted to go. I surprised him with tickets to Tokyo on top of our Asia trip. So now we ended up with a four country Asia tour. We were supposed to go to Thailand as well, but if we did that, we would literally just never go home. <laughs> and then one of our friends is having a wedding in Puerto Rico in March. So we've just been traveling and it's been amazing. I feel so thankful that I'm able to do my job from anywhere in the world right now and to visit his family and my family and be at my manager's wedding. Like, it's been just so great. You see the difference in eyebrow makes? I also recently had my 27th birthday, which is so crazy to me. Like, I'm actually an adult now. In my head, I was 24 and then now I'm 30. I feel like so much has changed about my attitude and how I go about life. And it's not just because I just turned 27. Like it's, I think it's around 25, 26. Like the way that I went about life really changed. A huge part of that is dating. When I was younger, it was very easy to find a partner in that like, you don't really have to worry about much. You don't really have to think about the future. I was single for about a year when I was 25. Anyway, one of the biggest things that changed was I wasn't just looking for someone to date anymore. I was looking for someone who could potentially be the father of my children. And as a child of divorce, it was a really important assignment for me because I really want to make sure my partner has the same values as I do. Like in my early 20s, I might be able to do like a situationship here and there. Like, but now it's like, no, don't waste my time. But now I'm just way pickier. Next, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick in the shade Power Boost. And I'm just applying a little bit in the outer corners to wing it out like a one swipe eyeshadow. Next up, I need to talk about the best mascara of 2022. It is the Clio Kill Lash Super Proof Mascara Long Curling. I rarely ever use up an entire tube of mascara. All of history, I've only done that with the Glossier Lash Slick and the Hourglass Tubing Mascara. This I think might be better than both of them. It's very hard for me to really commit to one mascara and I've only been reaching for this one. Typically when I'm doing my everyday makeup, I want my lashes to be curled and long because I have Asian lashes that grow like that. So I want them to be curled and long. And this really does the trick. I used to use the Pimel Essence Mascara Base but whenever I want my lashes to be curled, whatever ingredient they put in the Pimel Essence one that makes your lashes stay up, they have in this as well because they just make my lashes stay up all day and I don't need a lash primer. Like look at this and this, this is two coats. And something I'll do with this mascara sometimes is I'll just do one coat, leave it and then do my 
lips and by that time your first coat has dried so you can lengthen the first coat if that makes sense like look at that Clio is truly one of the best brands when it comes to mascara and this one is my favorite one like they look like claws speaking of insanely good products next i'm going to use the heroin make long stay sharp gel liner and i'm just going to tight line my upper lash line uh i like to start all the way from the inner corner one of my biggest makeup pet peeves and i don't have that many is when people have giant lashes but they don't fill in their upper lash line when you just see like a strip of eyelid skin whatever this is like this part this fleshy part and you're looking at them and talking to them and i'm like it's one of the easiest makeup steps to do and it makes your eyes look so much brighter it increases the contrast and it makes your lashes look so much thicker but anyway that's just me i also like to do a very slight wing just on top i'm gonna add a little bit more blush because i want to be a little bit more dramatic next is lips so what I've been using for my lip a new such a beauty products coming soon These are just the samples they're not the final products But by the time this video comes out It'll probably be ready and it'll be on Sachu.com. But we came out with a lip liner stain based on based on the TikTok I made using the Maybelline brow tint. But we wanted something that's specifically for lips and specifically for a lip liner. So it's formulated to be lip safe because eye safe ingredients are not always lip safe and lip safe ingredients are not always eye safe. And we created three shades. I'll tell you guys more about it later, but this has been my lip routine for the longest time. So for every day, I just like to do a classic all around lip liner i just do a thin line all around my lips i let it dry for three to five minutes depends on how deep you want the color as well if you leave it for longer the color will be deeper and more saturated but if you want a really natural look i usually go for three minutes now i'm just gonna slowly peel this off and then i rub off any residue and this is what it looks like. The lip liner just comes off so easily on me and this just stays on all day. And now I'm gonna top it off with the Kiko Milano Hydra Lip Gloss. I bought this from the Philippines. I've been a matte lip girl for so long and but I've been officially converted because these lip glosses, they're so shimmery and it just adds the perfect natural amount of shine. I bought this first and I went back and got the pink one as well. It's just so pretty. And this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for tuning in after all these years. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.